committee reports. Moving right along, uh, legislative update. Mrs. Shorter, do you have one? Well, they're um, on their little break right now, and there's lots of information out there right now about HB 99. I think that was mentioned earlier. Um, so, as I said, there's lots of information about that. It is now um, in effect, and our district is um, on top of that, and we've made plans um, as to how we're addressing it. Um, outside of that, I, one thing that's of interest is that we do not have a head of the Department of Education, um, unless there's something that's happened lately. Um, we had a resignation right after we, uh, not we, but the State Board of Education appointed uh, someone to head the Department of um, Education. That person resigned, and currently, um, there is not a person that has been cited as there's an interim, interim. There's there's an interim. interim. same interim that was before. there before. Okay, so as of right now, um, the State Board of Education uh, President Charlotte McGuire uh, said the board is identifying a search company and that this process is going to go forward in what she calls a reasonable time. But yes, there is an interim there, but we don't have a I guess a permanent seat there for that. So that's still something that has to take place. So there's been some, I guess, slight, um, I don't want to call it chaos, but um, things have been a little topsy-turvy with the uh, State Board of Education and with the hiring of that uh, particular person. So they have the interim and they'll get it resolved soon enough. I'm, I'm sure they will. So that's that's all I have. Great. Thank you. Uh, next, Butler Tech. So uh, I had the chance to tour the Natural Science Center, which is on Monroe High School's campus. Uh, it replaces the current center that is also there on the campus. It's a beautiful building. Uh, it's coming along nicely. It's 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 high tech, and yet it's designed to look like a barn that fits the programs that will be housed there. Uh, it, uh, it's slated to be uh, done by October and th they're on schedule. Somehow they're staying on schedule. They've been able to acquire materials, uh, uh, all the mechanicals as well as lumber and all the things they've needed and, uh, and they seem to have a la uh, the labor force needed. So, uh, you know, what a great accomplish if they could come on on time and on budget and, uh, and they're certainly headed for that. So everyone's excited about that. Uh, Butler County received uh, some relief funds that, uh, that they have made available and Butler Tech has applied for two programs, uh, an advanced manufacturing program, which would be a partnership with uh, Miami University Hamilton campus to house the program there. Uh, they've asked for um, over $10 million. We don't know where that stands, but uh, there's still under strong consideration. Same with their School of Aviation, which is again a partnership, a collaboration with the Middletown Airport to, uh, to build out a program there. They asked for 12 million for that program. So um, as Butler County makes those decisions, uh, Butler Tech certainly hopes to be a part of those plans moving forward. Um, Parks and Recreation, Scott's not here. He did not give me a report. Uh, didn't give one to you either? No. No, okay. We'll move right along. Planning Commission. Billy, do you have one? Uh, I do not. The most okay. recent uh, Planning Commission meeting was canceled, so as a result, there's no update this evening. Uh, but you did... Perfect. I did or, skip C, yes, did didn't I? <laughs> Look yeah. at that. All right, well, let's come back. Okay. I did just jump right over there. I apologize. Okay. Student Achievement, Mrs. Gundrum. Okay, so Devin Duncan, who's going to be a junior this year, uh, last week he got appointed to the inaugural Ohio Student Safety Advisory Council by Governor DeWine. Um, it is a student-led advisory council that's part of the Ohio School Safety Center, and they're going to work with the Safety Center leadership to identify school safety concerns and develop innovative ways to address them. Uh, he was one of 16 students statewide to get appointed and one of three in Southwest Ohio. So um, that is a very exciting and noteworthy um, achievement uh, for him to be named to that committee. 
and, um, and very much needed, very much needed. We, we need these councils. So congratulations, Devin. Congratulations, Fairfield, for being mm -hmm. represented, right? Yep. That's great. Yep. That's amazing. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Great. Thank you very much.